Hi everybody, it makes me really happy to see you here in my course. So everybody, really everybody should finish this course with an idea of how to use custom plugins in your web projects and everybody should see the high potential of such extensions. By the way, this should be my, my biggest goal for this course and after the course I would be thankful for any feedback you can provide me to improve my further my further courses I'm going to plan. So let's start with the very basics now. What is WordPress and what is a plugin? At this point I actually assume that you already can answer these questions, but for all who can't I will briefly explain it. WordPress is a content management system which allows their administrators to simply change and add contents. Knowledge about the web protocols itself or script languages like PHP are not necessarily needed for the users. The content management system provides two different views. One view for the administrators where they can change settings, designs, contents and so on. And the second view is for the users what they can finally see on your web page. So initially, initially WordPress was built for bloggers, but nowadays it's also used for big companies and big web projects around the globe. One reason for that is the huge community behind WordPress because there are some updates and some improvements regarding security and performance issues. And also the design of web projects is is uh, very customizable. For example, you can choose the design you prefer and you will find some template in the internet for nearly any use case you can think of. Among WordPress users there are a lot of different use cases for both functional and design requirements, which are not included in the basic WordPress core itself. So that's where, we, where the so-called plugins come into play. Plugins can extend the functionality of the actual WordPress core. Of course, there are a lot of plugins on the market which are also tested and rated by others. But believe me, I've worked with WordPress now for five years and there were so many use cases where I could not find a plugin on the market. So that's why I started writing my own plugins and in this course I want to show you how you can do it for your company or for your private web page. In the next video I want to show you which software I am going to use for development and how you can set it up. So see you in the next video.